Uh, yesterday we spoke to Adam Gilchrist, and he gave us the story of how the uh, the British Board of Film Classification has decided to, after 60 years, reclassify Disney's Mary Poppins, the movie. The movie was released in 19... Uh, in 1964, then it was given a classification of you, unrestricted. So there are no restrictions. But from this year, Mary Poppins will have a PG rating. And this is because of a derogatory term, which the British Board of Film Classification says could be uh, prejudicial. And that is the word, the South African word, hot and tot. And I'll just you, read you through the script of... of, of Parts of the Mary Poppins, Mary Poppins movie. There's a there's a line that says uh, when when the nanny uh, when the cook says to to Bert, played by Dick Van Dyke, says if that hot and tot goes into the chimney, I shall go out the door. And then there's another scene where uh, Admiral Boom, the man who stands on his on his rooftop and every eye a fire uh, every hour fires a cannon, he says we're being attacked by hot and tots. And then there's another where. Mary Poppins herself tells a very upset young Michael, that's the young boy in the Mary Poppins movie, understand you're behaving like a hot and dot. I can understand the context in which it's being used here, not in a glowing light, not in a positive light. I also understand that many people have strong feelings about the word hot and tot here in South Africa, but we still have a mountain range called the Hot and Dot Holland Mountain. We still have a school called Hot and Tots Holland. We even have a fish called Hot and Tots. So I thought I'd get the perspective of Chris Nissen, who is a commissioner at the South African Human Rights Commission, and we may all have different feelings and connotations around a particular word, Chris. But now that the British Board of Film Classification says that they have a problem with the word Hot and Tot, do you have a problem with the, hot, with the word Hot and Tot, Chris? Good morning. Yeah, good morning to Lester and to your family and the listeners of Cape Talk and the family of Cape Talk. We, we welcome the British Film Industry Union to really highlight this. And, but, but we want them to go further because you can't put an age restriction on racism. Racism is racism. And this word has been taught, no matter how we explain it, has got a brutality in it that caused a genocide amongst the sun and the koi in this country. And yes, I am, I'm, I'm a, let me make a, a, a disclaimer here that I have been doing my academic studies in the Koi and Sun. I wrote my last chapter of my thesis on the disintegration of the Sun and Koi community and the remnants amongst the colored community in 1989 when I was in Polsma, when I was arrested in, in state in Polsma. So I'm, I'm, for, for all my years, I've been working in that from an academic point of view. Yes, we do have a problem. And let me say the following. Yes, there are more than about 20, um, uh, uh, 21 inst institutions, range from NGOs to churches to, to the mountain and to others that have called it, um, that have still have Hortentot, Hollands, this Hortentot, Holland, that. So we have done some work on it. Uh, I must tell you the school in Somerset West have been very, very cooperative with us in that regard. And I must applaud the, the, um, the, 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 the leadership there that are beginning to, to work on it for some time now. And that's why you won't see the name publicly on the N2 anymore. You have plenty of institutions like the former... Hottentots Holland Hospital now being called and renamed. Yes, the Hel Helderberg, yes, Helderberg also with them, Hospital. With yeah. them and, and the Hottentot Fish is now called Cape Bream. It's officially changed to Cape Bream. It is an education amongst our people. And I stop when I see them advertising it. I said, no, 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 you can't do that. But let me say the following. You know, we, we, when the High Court in, in, um, in, in, um, in Northern Cape Precinct District declared Hottentot, or the word hot not, um, a, 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 a We then started trying to put together a, a, a program, and in fact, it's still on the agenda of the commission to continue with that and say that that must be added to the hate speech um, uh, category in South Africa. Yes, we've engaged, the, for example, Cape Nature Reserve. We said to them, it's not their responsibility, it's over to um, you know, National Environmental Affairs, We've talked to some of them, and, and we will continue to, to make sure 
that the word hot and tot is removed because hot and tot is the, 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 the most derogatory name comes from the word uh, emanates from it is hot and tot and I've received so many hate speech uh, hate mails around the saying well this this is what we always call our folky that must stop hot and tot and the the, the, the other word with it is as has got a history of brutalization of degrading and and both to those who use it and those against it being used so yes we as the commission is still in our discussion as to how we can call it hate speech is is, is there a difference between hot and tot and i will use the more the, the, the more what i find the more derogatory term hot not is there is there any form of contextual Etymolo- yes. et- et- etymological difference between the word hot and tot no. that we see on our mountain ranges and various other institutions and no. and, and, the, and the shortened hot not, which, which I find offensive. No, no, no. The, the word hot not, and please excuse me for using that word. I don't want to use that. I would rather use the H word. It comes from the word hot and tot. Let me tell you also where we've also done something. You see Kirsten Bosch. Kirsten Bosch have got this uh, slum group. And on the, there's, a, there's a hedge, which allegedly Van Rijk built. And there, even there, they say that this was, uh, you know, before it was hot and tot, they've changed it to koi. But they still use the word where Moredi, Moredi, um, thieves came to, 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 to attack this part, you know. That was their place. How can you call people that, that are living on the place thieves of the land? So we, we engaged them. We spoke to them. I don't know. I haven't been there in a long time. I will still go and see if it's still there. But if it's still there, it's not only the, 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 the word, but all the, the connotations to it. They're lazy. They, you know, and they see. You know, when I was in a two in history, it says about the, the autumn thoughts at that time. They just call it autumn thoughts. And they say, and it's in Afrikaans, so there's, there's Peter Gestel, who in Afrikaans. They said, the autumn thought was lay stink. In scallops, beaver, but on the hood come steal it. I mean, that was imprinted in our minds. Go and see it in the Senate history book, which colored people had to endure at that time. So, no, we, this is long from over. We will continue. And I personally, because I'm passionate about the fact that we need to restore the dignity of the koi and the sun in this country. And I know there's issues around all of those, but yet we cannot allow that the H word will continue to be used and degrading. And what is sad, Lester, what is sad is that, you know, the internalization of that word to our people, that our people are prepared to accept that word. And I'm, I'm generalizing, I'm not so old, I'm generalizing. But yes, we will be, and we must use, you must continue with fighting that word. There's even in Mamre, there's also a, 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 a stone commemorating the, the Hrunfle missionaries that came there, but also standing, stating there, the Bushmen and the sun were, were, were thieves. Chris, listen, really appreciate your time, Commissioner at the South African Human Rights Commission.